2009 and a moment that's now come to haunt Scotland Yard's assistant commissioner, John Yates. No additional evidence has come to light since this case has concluded. I therefore consider that no further investigation is required. That decision not to delve deeper into the news of the world's phone hacking activities was, John Yates now admits, wrong. A decision, he says, that seriously damaged Scotland Yard's reputation and let the victims down. In an interview in today's Sunday Telegraph, John Yates admits he mishandled the investigation, failing to grasp the scale of what was going on, instead believing News International's story that it was the work of one rogue reporter. I didn't do a review. Had I known then what I know now, all bets are off, he says. I would never have reached this conclusion. I'm accountable and it happened on my watch and it's clear I could have done more. Others too were now under fire, among them the Press Complaints Commission, the body which should have regulated the news of the world and which many believe now needs dismantling. Self-regulation is a privilege, not a right, which is why we need a new uh, PCC which has teeth, which is genuinely independent, which can investigate properly and which has serious sanctions available to it. Are you flying to London now? Uh, yeah, sometimes. Flying into this firestorm is Rupert Murdoch himself. He'll arrive in London today, still publicly supporting his embattled chief executive, Rebecca Brooks. But despite the backing of her boss for Rebecca Brooks, the questions keep on coming. And now a senior source within News International says she'll be questioned by police in the coming days. I think the closure of the news of the world is particularly poignant because actually it's a move designed to save Rebecca Brooks's job and it probably isn't going to. I, I can't see how she can survive long term. It was claims the news of the world hacked murdered schoolgirl Millie Dowler's phone that really ignited public disgust. David Cameron will now meet Millie's parents next week. He's also confirmed there'll now be two inquiries. One into phone hacking will be led by a judge and have the power to call witnesses under oath. A second, overseen by a panel of senior public figures, will look at regulating the press. When the inquiries will begin isn't clear, but Rupert Murdoch could be called to give evidence. While the news of the world's number may be up, the fallout is far from finished. Simon Newton, Sky News, Wapping.